Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction. This is Sweet Kisses, episode one, and it's part two of Sweet Treats. So this was requested and probably a demand, so yeah. So the story is continuing under uh, part two. So I hope you like it, enjoy smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below of what's happening next and what you think's about to happen, because I'd love to hear what you think. Okay, enjoy! Sweet Kisses Marinette's POV My lady? Partner? She gazed at him carefully, why those words? He pulled her into a hug and whispered into her ear. You know why. As the day went on, the more I saw the bug in you. She was grateful he was still clinging on to her so tightly as her legs buckled underneath her. What was he saying? He knows she's Ladybug? But how? What had she done that had given it away? The only other person who would know her well enough was. She leaned back just a little, not wanting to let go, and searched his face. There it was, a soft smile that said everything. Are you alright, Bugaboo? He said with a hint of concern. Her breath caught in her throat at the use of such a personal name. He was... Shat. Adrian, the boy she loved, was also her partner. I... I need to sit. Her voice was distant, lost in her mind as she scrambled from one thought to another. Come with me. I have you. He swiveled his arms around her, holding her by the waist as he guided her to a nearby bench. Carefully, he lowered her down, not letting her go and peered into her gaze. It was the little things that you did today, more than anything big, which gave you away. Things that only I would notice. But it makes so much sense. I don't know why I didn't see it earlier. Shat. She breathed. It's me, my lady. He leaned in folding back her fringe and kissed her gently on the forehead before leaning his head against hers. The rest of the world faded away around them. The loud music had become a whisper. Their friends were a hazy image which floated about them. She felt safe, wrapped in his arms as the world she thought she had known disappeared and a new reality had formed. One where she was Ladybug and Adrian was Chat Noir. And they knew. Adrian. My kitty. My Mickey. I can't believe it's you. That it's always been you. I love you. He let out the breath he had clearly been holding in. You mean it? Knowing who I am and... You still love me? Her head nodded against his. I do. Even more so, if that's possible, but me? That I am... Did you love me after you thought I was? Her voice veered off as she closed her eyes. Did he only love Marinette because she was his lady? No! I've been falling in love with Marinette for a while. I meant what I said earlier. He pulled back a fraction to lock onto her eyes. Look at me. There they were, his emerald eyes. Adrian. Shat's eyes. Filled with so much emotion that it spilled onto hers. Her body was shaking against his touch. Her heart sprinted inside her chest, making it hurt. She didn't know she could love someone this much. You 
do. You mean it. You're not disappointed that your lady who you admire and who is a superhero, but in reality, it's just me, Marinette. The girl who fumbles around, is clumsy, who is a mess. She broke the hold on his gaze and cast her eyes downwards. My love, you are amazing. I wish you could see yourself through my eyes because I see... Because what I see is a girl, a lady who has the biggest heart I have ever seen who is talented, who places her friends and family in the whole of Paris before herself. Marinette alone is the person I could spend a lifetime loving. Ladybug is only a fraction of that. He lifted her chin and tasted the salty tears in her kiss. Running his hand up her back and into her hair, he kissed her with more passion to the point of breathlessness. After a minute or so, he continued, The person I spent the day with making sweet treats is Marinette. Confident, kind, thoughtful, playful, he gave her a cheeky grin. Competitive, creative, patient, I could go on if you want me to. She giggled as her cheeks were red and on fire. I believe you, my kitty. It's you. It really is you. How did I not see it before? The two most important men in my life were only one. So when you told me you had loved me, Adrian, since the umbrella, Does that mean? Am I the one I was competing against? I was jealous of myself? He twirled a strand of her hair around his fingers. Yep, I'm afraid so. But the thing was, I was in love with Shat too. I just couldn't allow myself to fully embrace it. It's my turn to ask. You're not? disappointed and chat it makes you perfect she raised her eyebrows causing him to chuckle but it does adrian is sweet kind but guarded chat is playful cheeky and daring i understand why it's so important for you as i spent more time with you the sides blended together I like what you said. Today, you were just you. The whole of you. How did I get so lucky? Ladybug luck. How are you feeling now? He asked with earnest. Happy. Truly happy. She scrunched up her lips, forcing back the happy tears. Happy enough to dance with me, my lady? What? Dance with you in the moonlight? He glanced upwards, realisation hit his face that the sun was going down, casting the park in shades of pinks, purples and the private shaded bench in dark blue. An enormous grin spread across his lips as he edged closer, lightly brushing her lips against his. I love you. The whole of you, she breathed, his grip tightening around her, kissing her fiercely. They broke apart, blushing to the point their ears had turned pink. Dance with me. He stood up and did his shat like bow, my lady. I had almost forgotten that her party was still happening. I wonder if anyone was looking for us, Marinette giggled. Her arm linked in with his as he guided her back to the group. Nino was on the decks, playing one of his remixes, as their friends jumped up and down to the beat. He slowly parted from her grip, his hand slid down to her hand, needing some form of connection. 
She couldn't, wouldn't, wipe the enormous grin off her face. There you are, Alia shouted over the music. Where have you two been? Her eyes widened as she caught a glance at their hands intertwined. She turned her back to Adrian and gave Marinette a knowing look, tilting her head slightly towards Adrian and then raised her eyes back at her best friend. With Marinette nodding her head, chuckling at her friend, who was clasping her hand over her mouth. Adrian leaned forward behind Alia. Yes, Marinette is my girlfriend now. Followed by a shriek from Alia and stomach-clenching laughter from the pair. Used to! She pointed between them. You two are a couple? She screamed, jumping up and down in the air. Finally! Yes! Perfect birthday treat! Alia, stop! Calm down, Marinette tried to say through laughs. Oh, I know. I have the perfect thing to celebrate this. Alia, Marinette tried to shout after her excited friend, but there was no use. Either she didn't want to listen or couldn't over the music. What do you think she's about to do? Adrian spoke into her ear, standing behind her and wrapping his arms around her waist. He leant his head on top of hers, unaware of the looks they were receiving of their friends. Some of shock, some of excitement, especially from Rose. One in particular had a look of horror. Instead, they were watching Alia racing up to the stage with a jump to her step, as if she was a child at Christmas and witnessed Santa leaving her present under the tree. Alia stopped Nino mid-mix and cupped her hands over his ears as and his eyes popped wide, staring out into the crowd. Marinette's heart leaped inside her chest as she heard Adrian let out a light chuckle, removing one of his hands from around her and waved it in the air at his friend. They both couldn't help but laughing as Nino's mouth opened in a gawk, followed with a punch in the air. The music stopped as Nino took over the mic. Dudes, this one goes out to my best mate. Dudes, finally! With another fist punch in the air, he pointed out to them. Suddenly aware of all eyes on them, Marinette felt the heat rise in her cheeks and all she wanted to do was hide her face inside Adrian's chest. Then it came to her before he had a chance. I guess the cats are out the bag then. She gazed upwards and saw the laughter spread from his lips to his eyes. You just, did you just make a shat pun? Are you sure you're Ladybug? I'm having my doubts now. He playfully removed his hands from her waist. My lady would never. She spun round, pulling him closer and whispered in his ear. Do you want to know a secret? I've always secretly loved your puns. They brought a smile to my face even during the hard times. He pulled back and put a playful, shocked expression on his face. I knew it. I knew you did. My lady did protest too much. He leaned in and kissed her gently, knowing they had an audience as the music they had danced to twice now played over the speakers. Our song. How about that dance? All she could do was nod as he wrapped her in his arms and swayed to the spot, wishing this day, wishing this perfect day, filled with sweet treats followed by sweet kisses, never ended. Thank you for listening to episode one. I think part two might actually have four episodes attached to it. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe so you don't miss out on episode two, which will be coming soon and comment down below what you think. And if it's what you expected after the end of um, Sweet 